Good morning, Brian King here. If you happen to be catching me live, please type hashtag live in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, first of all, thank you for coming back a little bit later. And type hashtag replay in the comments. You notice I titled this video a little bit differently. I call it Morning T. T-E-A as an acronym. And that's also the name of my email newsletter that I send out every single day. And T stands for thought, emotion, and action. Because if you shift any one of those things, you can radically improve the quality of your life. So I want to be able to give you some kind of a video version of the newsletter. It's not going to be exactly what I send out every day. It's going to be different. But let's try it and, and see what's what. Hey there, Drew. And a wonderful talk with a new Facebook friend yesterday. We got on Zoom and had a wonderful video chat. And the reason this person reached out to me is because she likes the fact that I'm very raw and real on the videos that I share, that I really don't hold back anything. I'm completely transparent. And she was amazed at the fact that I can do that. And I've been doing it that way for a while. And she was curious as to how can I do that? How can I, you know, some people see it as courageous. Well, it's very vulnerable. I'll give you that. But a lot of it stems from the realization that I've had over time that each one of us is walking this thing called the human condition, the human experience. We're all making it up as we go. We're all trying to figure it out. None of us has. You know, some of us has some answers that we've come up with. I wouldn't say any of us have the answers in spite of what our egos might convince us of. But one of the problems we went into a lot, especially in places like Facebook, you know, is the old saying that we keep comparing our everyday life to everybody else's highlight reel, meaning that a lot of Facebook is pretending to have it all together. And the people that are most guilty of this, in my opinion, are my fellow coaches. You know, I see that a lot. There was a couple times I post in a coaches group and people respond with these very empowered, flawless mindset stuff where I start every day with momentum and I have this wonderful attitude and it's perfect and, and I have no chinks in my armor. I'm thinking to myself, who are you kidding? You know, I don't doubt that you have skills. I don't doubt that you've learned various things over the years, but don't you try and convince me for one second that you don't trip over your own feet, that you don't sometimes get rattled, that you don't sometimes get upset. You do, but your skill set equips you to get back on track faster. And that's really what any of us do. The frequency with which we trip over our own feet might vary from person to person, depending on our skill set. But at the end of the day, we all make mistakes, we all get pulled off course, and we all find our way back. But there are some people that pretend that that's not the case for them, and those people are completely full of shit. You know, and they're really easy to spot. The ones that are always talking about, oh, everything's perfect, I, I never let things get in the way. You know, I, I see stuff on my own discussion threads, you know. Oh, I have pain too, but I never let it get in the way of my happiness. Bullshit. There are days where it gets to you. Admit it. You are not superhuman. You are not the Buddha. You are not completely enlightened. Neither am I. There are times when it gets to you, and that's okay. It doesn't make you a failure. It makes you a human being. Put it out there. Hey, I made a mistake today. I learned from it. I got back on track. When you look at how life works in general, I, for some reason the analogy of you know driving or a canoe came up. You're, you're driving along, sometimes you find yourself you know, drifting within the lane, but you're always adjusting to stay within the lane. You don't pick your spot in the lane and remain there until you get your just, to your destination. You're always adjusting a little bit at a time, right? Thanks, Tim. I really appreciate that. And when you're in a canoe, you paddle one side, the boat starts to veer off to the other side, you need to correct and get back. You're always trying to find your way back to center. An airplane, when it goes from point A to point B, it doesn't fly a straight line. It has to go up, it has to go down, it has to dodge storms, it has to adjust to other planes in the sky, but it eventually gets to its destination. That is life, period. Life can be really shitty, it can be very happy. One thing is for sure, it is bumpy. It is unpredictable. And anybody who puts themselves out there and claims otherwise is lying. 
Now, you can comfortably be completely transparent and say, this is what happened today. This is what I was thinking. These are the difficulties that I've been having because I'm a real human being. Now, one thing I hope that you're also doing is not wallowing in it as though that's the eternity of your life experience. Because we know everything is temporary, everything changes, and realizing that it's temporary, it too shall pass. You can endure things much more effectively knowing that they're not forever, that you can do things about them, that you will find your way back to happiness, to your center, and talk about that journey. Don't just talk about the crap. You know, sometimes I come on and I talk about how I'm, you know, feeling lousy, I'm having a bad day. I'm not for one second trying to say, feel sorry for me. Oh, you know, poor Brian. I'm trying to point out that, hey, I've got a lot of great skills. I've got a great mindset, but I have some off days. That's what I'm putting that stuff out there for, period. That I have some off days. I'm not some super person. I'm just a human being trying to figure it out like you. I've got a lot of answers. Maybe some of my answers agree with you. Maybe they don't. Okay. You know, we're all trying to figure it out. If what I put out there is helpful, hallelujah. When I have my down days, sometimes I need to lean on you guys a little bit. When I'm having my great days, I want to pay that forward to you and celebrate them together so that we can all benefit and draw strength from one another. So, you know, my advice to you is if you want to be yourself, Put yourself out there. Don't worry about the haters or the negative people or the ones that you know, pretend like, oh, well, man, you're just weak. Or you're not tough enough. Anybody that any critic that shows up is bullshitting themselves, period. And it's wonderful how they identify themselves. You know, they come on strong and confident and all knowing. They're lying. And you can confidently believe that about them. Now, you don't respond to them. It just encourages them. But know that when someone criticizes you and belittles you because you're having a rough day, that this is somebody who's lying to themselves. Somebody that's not admitting that they have vulnerabilities, that they too are afraid, that they too stumble and fall and have failures. In fact, by denying this about their lives, they're really preventing themselves from growing. So if anything, extend them a little compassion and say, hey man, I hope you find your way to reality and realize that you're human too, and so am I, and there's so many opportunities for you that you're missing because your ego is preventing you. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to be vulnerable and share the reality of my life because everybody else needs to be reminded they're not alone in this thing. We're all tripping and falling trying to figure this thing out, and we share our answers, we share our journey, and somehow we make it through, and hopefully we're better as a result. So... That's just my two cents. I called this morning tea, and I've actually got some tea. Let me know what you're drinking, too. I'm very curious to know what else is out there. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this with anybody you think can benefit from it, and shoot me off a message. I'd really like to get to know you better, and I absolutely want to help you. So shoot me a message. Let me know what's going on with your life, and let's see if we can work it out together. Take care, my friend. We'll talk again soon.